What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I got a really cool series shortcut to show you guys. It's called iTweak and it adds 20 plus different tweaks to your device. No jailbreak of course. Also 20 plus 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 apps. It's kind of a mouthful. Um, it's definitely a really cool shortcut to have. Uh, there's, a t there's a ton of stuff to it. I'll leave the link for it down in the description for those of you that do want to get this Siri shortcut and try it out. Uh, it's definitely a really cool one to have. So let's go ahead and open up Siri shortcuts. And uh, as you guys can probably tell, I've used it a little bit here. We got some, some blank icons going on here so we can kind of change the layout of our springboard, which looks really cool. Uh, so here is iTweak. Let's just go ahead and click on it. Like I said, guys, there is a ton of stuff you can do with this shortcut. It's pretty insane if you ask me. So uh, the first section here is the help in introduction, which will give you a better understanding of how it works. Uh, next up is the list of tweaks and apps that you can get from iTweak, which is a pretty huge list as you guys can see right there. Um, and then the next section is the system tweaks. There's a bunch of really cool stuff here. Now, of course, this is not the same as like Cydia tweaks, uh, but this is still all the cool stuff you can do without a jailbreak all compiled into one place, which I think is awesome. So if you guys are into making your device look like it's tweaked out, this is probably the best option you have. Now, like I said, I'm not going to cover everything individually because this would be a very long video if I showed how to use all of this stuff and what it all does. Uh, but I will show you a couple of things. So first off, you have no folder labels. You can remove those. You have a low power mode plus plus, which is more of a uh, a better low power mode, I guess you could say. It'll save more battery than regular low power mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have a silent mode for iPhone. You have your theater mode for iPhone and iPad, so you can put it into theater mode if you're going to a movie or into a theater. Uh, you have dark mode, which will basically put it into smart invert, which is as close as we can get to a dark mode on iOS, which is neat. You have a flashlight disco, which will just basically make your, your flashlight strobe on your device. That looks pretty neat. I can actually, I'll just enable that really quickly so you guys can see. So that's what that looks like. Pretty straightforward. We'll click stop. For some reason, it always leaves it on. Let's go ahead and open the uh, list of tweaks back up. We have a sleep mode, tilt web, custom icons for apps. So if you have certain images and you want to really customize the look of your applications, you can do that. Let's say you want to customize messages. Uh, you can do that with that button there. Change the icon. It'll basically act as a shortcut. You click on your messages app and it'll jump you to the messages app. So that's how that works. Apparently a phone call coming in. Um, we do have invisible icons for apps. That's what I'm using. Uh, that's the one thing I wanted to show you guys really quickly because I think it looks cool. And I want to show you guys how it works. Uh, so first off, we're going to have to create blank icons. So step one is to take a screenshot of your background. So we'll go ahead and put our uh, icons in the wiggle mode and we'll swipe to a blank page, which is going to be the last page. From here, all you got to do is create a screenshot like a so. Click on done. And then we will jump back into uh, the web page here. So create blank icons. We'll click on add. And then this is where you're going to choose that screenshot you just took. So click on choose file. Go into your photo library and just choose that screenshot. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And then once you have chosen, just click on send. And this part does take it a minute for it to process. As you can see, it says right there, this could take a minute. Uh, it literally does take about a minute. So I'll be back as soon as it's done. All right, it is done loading. We can swipe down. And as you can see, here are all the icon spaces you can make blank icons for. Basically, it's going to use your wallpaper and make that icon the same as the wallpaper. So keep in mind, if we choose any of these um, uh, icons here, you will see them when you swipe. They'll just appear invisible uh, when the icons are not moving. So we'll do the 5-2 here because I know that that's a spot I can use it on. As you can see, that's what the icon looks like. Uh, from here, you're just going to click on the little button there, and then we're going to click on Add to Home Screen. So it's going to add this icon. We'll click on add in the upper right. And as you can see, there is the icon. So what we're going to do is move this over to the page I want it on. And it's actually meant for right there. So what I could do is let's just pull out a game here. And as you can see, it basically acts as a blank spot. But you can see it as you swipe. So 
uh, do keep that in mind. That's how that works. These are invisible because the top portion of this uh, wallpaper happens to be black, so you'll never even see them. Uh, so depending on what wallpapers you use, you can make it fully invisible looking. But like I said, it just really depends on which wallpaper you're using and all that. So we'll jump back into uh, eye tweak. That's how the invisible wallpapers or the invisible icons works. Uh, we'll swipe down here. You have hide dock wallpapers, frames to docks and folders, static dynamic wallpapers. You can change font, run Mac OS on your device, get iPhone 10 features on your iPad or iPhone. You have bike mode, camera mode, panic mode, normal vid to slow-mo or time-lapse, always on clock. I didn't mean to uh, click on that, but uh, as you can see, that's its own shortcut that you'll need. Let's go back into the tweaks here. There's so many. Now, where were we? We were at uh, always on clock, uh, edit text on web page, not permanent and then uh, face tune for iPhone. So like I said, guys, there's just a ton of stuff. If there's anything you want me to like cover individually in its own video, I'll do that. I just didn't want to try and cover all this stuff in one video and have a half hour long video because it's just, it's pretty insane, but there's just so much you can do with it. It's really cool. Let's go back into iTweak. So here is the next section, which is downloads. And this is going to allow you to download plus plus apps and other stuff uh, directly from Siri shortcuts. As you guys can see, there's a ton of stuff in here as well. It's just it's just insane. I think this shortcut is awesome. Uh, you can get Instagram Rocket. Let's just go ahead and click on it. Uh, and then we'll click on install. As you can see, it's coming from Tweakbox. We'll exit out of here. And uh, I'm not sure if Tweakbox is still having the download issues. They've been having some download issues the last couple of days. It might still be going on right now. So uh, we'll just cancel that out. Let's go back into downloads. Maybe we can try something else just for fun. Let's try Instagram Plus Plus and see if that works. So that's coming from iOS Ninja. Let's click on install. So there it is waiting currently. Seems to be working. Let's just give it another minute here. See if it actually does download. It should, I would, I would think. But I think it's pretty cool that you can just use a Siri shortcut to download uh, the apps you like to use. So if you like using them and you, oh, okay, well that one, Oh, no, there it is. So we went to the last page. So that, that one did work. So there's Instagram plus plus. Um, let's jump back into iTweak. Back in the downloads. Bunch of really cool stuff. I think you guys get the idea. But like I said, if you guys uh, have a certain plus plus app that you like to use all the time, like Instagram plus plus, and you hate going back into um, like Tweakbox to re-download it, this is a really quick shortcut for that when that app gets revoked you can just delete it and then add it right from a Siri shortcut so uh, definitely really cool you also have the jailbreak alternative sites so we can click on that this requires its own shortcut as well so you could add that that's a pretty cool shortcut I'm assuming it's gonna be like tweakbox 22 all that stuff let's go back into iTweak you can also respring and reset your device which is neat so let's just do a respring I thought this was really neat being able to respring a non-jailbroken device is pretty neat to me. So there you go. Let's go ahead and swipe up. And unfortunately, my face is not in front of my phone right now. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I want to cover in this video. Like I said, there's a lot to it. There's all these system tweaks. There's all the downloadable applications. There's Cydia alternatives. You can reset, respring, just a ton of really cool stuff. Again, the, down the download link for this shortcut is in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.